this light fire works is it's a bump fire stock and it enables the butt stock of this carbine to flow like this. You put your finger on the trigger like so and the recoil actually actuates the trigger for you. Uh, being a military veteran and uh, uh, having fired many, many M4s and M16s and fully automatic weapons, I can tell you right now, this is not much slower than your standard M4 issued to our U.S. military personnel. So, with that, uh, we're going to go over some basic safety features with this. After you're done with the slide fire, you can pull this lever back, twist it counterclockwise, lock it back in, and it becomes a standard M4 just like any other M4. Okay, well we're gonna give it a roll. Again, this is on a Spikes lower receiver, and also this is a Colt Marietta upper. This is in the A2 configuration, so uh, it's a little older than what the U.S. military is using now. They use the A3s, which are flat tops, but we like these because they also have open sights if you don't want to put a scope on your flat top uh, receiver. So. Without out any further ado, we'll get ready to fire this thing and we'll charge her up and let her rip. Okay, here we go. We've got a couple of 30 round mags, standard issue military mags. These are not the mag poles, but we brought a mag pole uh, to test too. We'll put these through the, the uh, scenario and see what we can do with them. They're both fully loaded, so we have 60 rounds right here. Okay, well, we're going to put our air protection in and get ready to roll. Okay. Here we go. We're going to remove our empty chamber indicator. This firearm is on safe. Empty what? chamber indicator out. Always use an empty chamber indicator designed for the AR-15. They're smaller than regular chamber indicators. You can pick these things up from Champion's Choice or the NRA. They're about a buck a piece. And it just makes good sense to keep these flags in the rifle when you're not using them so people know the rifles are safe. So, what we'll do is we'll try a couple rounds in just standard semi-automatic mode, and then we're going to flip the switch, and we're going to rock and roll. Magazine. Magazine in. Rifle pointed in a safe direction downrange. We're going to charge it. We're going to disengage our safety, and we're going to fire. Standard semi-automatic mode. And you can see I nailed him pretty good right there. Okay, now we're going to flip the magic button right here. And we, so we have our slide fire action. And we're going to try it. There you go. That's the slide fire. Okay, that mag is empty. That's 30 rounds. Wow. That's sweet. 30 rounds. Oh, that that, is, that <laughs> wow. is sweet. Okay, who's next? Okay, so, so you, can, you can switch it from, from auto, basically, and slide fire just to regular signal action. Right? That's correct. With this, so release just remove this. this. Pull this down, rotate it, and it becomes your standard semi-automatic rifle again. And you just use the trigger. Just use the trigger. Wow, All right, let's remove the magazine and take this rifle, and I'll expand a little more. Wow, look at it spit that brass. <laughs> Sweet! Did you get it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow! Very cool. All that is okay. sweet. That is like sweet. On deck. Isn't that cool? Oh, yeah. Nice. So, Zach, what do you think about that thing? That is awesome. Something, that is awesome. So, definitely something worth getting. Oh, yeah, definitely. Fire. Worth every penny, I'd say. Yeah, that's got to be cool. I got to get one of those to bug the crap out of my neighbors. <laughs> That'd be very cool. Oh, yes. Direct stuff. But, uh, okay, right cool. For One thing we must yeah. mention with these slide fires, you're throwing a lot of lead downrange real fast, and that barrel will get very, very hot. So 
Be careful when you touch it. Don't grab it by the barrel. <laughs> grab it by its hand guards because you will burn the crap out of your hand. Okay, just something to be aware of that these things heat up real fast because you're dumping 30 rounds. He just dumped 30 rounds in about 15 seconds. So that's how fast these things fire. And well, they I, fire as fast as fully automatic rifles. I, so, can, I can smell how hot it is yeah, from here. Uh -huh. It's sitting back here on the bench and I can smell how hot it that's is. That's right, that's right. So just be aware, they are hot. They do get hot and it's a good thing to let them cool a little bit before you run another mag through them. You know, just so you don't burn your barrel up because the heat's what causes your barrel to uh, uh, wear faster than normal. So, so on a military full auto or three round burst rifle, do they have different barrels because they get hotter? Yes, they do. The military uses a standard, what they call an MPC chrome lined barrel. And they use that for one reason, because regular chrome molly steel, if it's not chrome lined, you will eat that up shooting full automatic fire. And the chrome is a harder material than the chrome molly steel, and that's why the military uses it. Most barrels are marked CMP, and the C stands for, coal, or stands for chrome, chrome molly. So most military barrels are chrome lined. I haven't seen too many that aren't. And it works the same way with the M60 machine guns or uh, the saw. Whatever uh, automatic weapon is in service usually will have a chrome lined barrel. And that's so it doesn't get, it, it, when it gets hot, it doesn't get as damaged. Well, yeah, exactly. It so it does, get doesn't get as hot. Exactly, exactly. Doesn't heat up as oh, fast. Exactly. Okay, there's the target. I don't know if you can really see all the holes in it or not. But boy, there's a lot of holes in that baby. All over the place. Uh oh, there's my cell phone. Must be must be the ATF calling me about this video. Okay, so this is it. That's the slide fire stock. Is this is this the uh, button you use to change it from single to to auto? And there's where it comes down, and you put your finger over here, and then it's just, a, and you pull forward on the grip, right? That's correct. You pull forward on the grip, so you're pulling the grip this way, and when you pull forward on the grip, the recoil of the gun actuates it, actuates and, it and so it's just recoil actuated, and it's just sliding like this, and so it's causing, it's causing uh, your, the trigger to be pulled real fast, basically. And it's faster than you could just, it's faster than you could just pull your finger on the trigger like that. So it's just sliding back and forth. Very cool. And then you can, and then you can lock it back so then you could just put your finger in here and shoot it semi. Or you could just take this off and just put the regular buttstock on it, right? Just slide right. on the regular M4 adjustable buttstock. That's right. Very and cool. one thing you should mention, this this tube here is for mil spec. So it's not a commercial size, mil spec is a little bit smaller. So uh, just be aware of that. Rattles a little. Say it's again. a little loose. It's just a little loose. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. this won't fit on a commercial tube. It'll only fit on a mil spec tube. I'm not sure if they make a, uh, a commercial version yet, but uh, this one is mil spec. It has a mil spec tube in it to allow it to slide back. And okay, forth. so if you're gonna have, you gotta, have, if you got an AR, you're gonna mount it on. You gotta have a mil spec tube. That's correct. That's correct. And the tube. And I believe Slide Fire makes a mil spec tube. And the tube is this right here. That's correct. The recoil spring That's buffer correct. tube. Okay, so you got to have a mil spec tube. That's right. Here we are. It's my turn. Uh, let's see if I can hit anything with this. <laughs> Should be fun. Here we go. There's the mag. Here it is. protection in? Who said I was deaf? <laughs> huh? Okay, here we go. Squirrel. You 
You can shoot it with a sight too, right? Absolutely. Ah, oh, sweet. format. Let's give it a shot. Air protection. Need some assistance. Don't want to set it on the ground. What? All right. It's a beautiful gun. We don't want to get it dirty. Here we go. Are you going to be Zach from somebody or somewhere or something, or you just going to be Zach? I'm just going to be Zach. You're not going to be Zach from uh, Hotchkiss or something? or. Just Zach is fine. Okay. You're recording. I'm the guy that feeds all the goats and the feeds the chickens down at Warhawk's Defense. At, uh, at, the Cal at the Colorado compound of Warhawk Defense. All right. Safety's off. Weapons loaded. Uh, do a three-round burst and then do some full auto. All right. All right. Rock and roll. Wow. Alrighty. Wow. Okay, so shoot the rest of them. That had quite a kick. Well, you're out already? Out you're already. Out. Holy cow. That was what, 30 rounds? 30 rounds. Pretty darn quick. Yeah. And they're all on that little target right there. But zoom in on that little target. You really can't see the holes very good in it, but it's full of them. Looks like Swiss cheese. Yeah, definitely awesome. Definitely worth every penny, I'd say. Yep. Yeah. So you figure you could defend Hotchkiss with that? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> All right. Well, that it? Somebody's got to say, see you later. This is Bruce, the bass player from Danger Alley again. We had a great time out here shooting on the range, uh, shooting the uh, slide fire on the AR-15 platform. Uh, we put a lot of rounds through it real fast. Anyway, uh, for Warhawk Defense, thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time.